All right, welcome to Red Finch Rental. We are gonna be talking today about some affordable but high quality lenses. We got the Rokinons and then we also have the Sigma Art lenses. I'm gonna start with the Rokinons right here. So the Rokinons come in a bunch of different mounts. We use Canon because Canon is the unofficial standard of the film world. And we, the nice thing about these lenses is they're affordable uh, and, but they're geared. Most cinema lenses, as I was saying, the other ones, they cost like $4,000 a lens. These are under $1,000 in the five to, th between 500 and $1,000 range, which makes them very inexpensive. So it's got that gear. The mo movement isn't as fluid or as good, or as nice as you're gonna find on a Zeiss cinema lens or a, a Cook or a, a can you know, even a Canon or a Canon cinema lens. But it's still, it's really good. It's got gearing built into the barrel. So you can uh, use a follow focus on it and you can attach it to any Canon mount cinema camera. So here we go. I mean, this is really overkill. Here's a Rokinon lens on a Red Dragon, Red Epic Dragon. But so we have, uh, they come in a, a number of focal lengths. We've got the key ones like a 14, a 24, uh, 35, an 85, and a 50. But they, again, they're geared. The aperture, again, is also geared, so you could change the exposure during a shot smoothly if you wanted. But most important thing is you can change the focus. Uh, this one is so, but again, it's, it's a kind of a approximation of a cinema lens. It's not really a true cinema lens. Uh, those big ones we looked at, the Zeiss CP2s or the Canon Cineprimes or the Cooks are vastly superior. But if you're on a budget, this is an excellent, excellent choice. I would highly recommend getting Rokinons. Honestly, it's probably gonna be the first uh, geared lens you use. Now, moving on to the Sigma Art lenses. Now, optically, these lenses, the Sigma Art lenses are way better than the Rokinons. And we make them cinema, sort of cinema lenses, by putting on these 3D printed focus gears. So they fit snugly. And you can see there's no joint, they just fit snugly onto the barrel, and these are aftermarket, and we purchase them and put them on there. But it makes it so you can apply a follow focus to these um, lenses. So it makes them good, you know, useful for doing that, for tracking focus during a shot. The problem with them though is that they're really built to be autofocus lenses, so you probably can't see that, but maybe you can. It's, smaller but see there's just not much travel between like three feet and two feet it's like that much distance so it's harder to follow focus with these you can do it uh, but again a cinema a true cinema lens is going to be a way better option for follow focus but again if you're on a budget and you want good optics this is an excellent choice sigma art all these lenses are exceptionally fast they're all 1.4 and we have a a 20, a 20, a 20, a 24, a 35, a 50, and an 85. The 85 and the 50 are particularly good, in my opinion. It's interesting that the Sigma Art lenses uh, are superior to the Canon um, lenses, optically, some of them. Well, actually, even all of them are at least as good. The 85 and the 50, I feel, are better than the Canon equivalent. So these are really an excellent choice. Uh, for, again, if you're on a budget and you want really good uh, op optics, then this, this is the set for you. I also brought out, uh, put out a PL mount on our red helium here because I want, I've talked about it in previous videos, but we didn't have it. See, this is what a PL mount looks like. This is a PL mount lens cap. And the way you put a PL lens on is you align that little notch there up with this little, little, <laughs> bolt there and then you turn it so this turning action here locks the lens in really snugly so uh, it won't come off and uh, like I said the red Canon mount actually has that built in even though like a traditional Canon SLR won't can red adds an extra ring for you to lock in your lens your lens is extra secure and which is important with cinema glass <coughs> because Often the cinema lenses are heavier than an SLR lens, and so the mount needs to be robust so it can handle more weight. 
So that's why, that's PL mount, that's a Canon mount. Again, Rokinon's very standard intro to cinema lens people get because it's so affordable. And then Sigma Art, which has got great optics and you can uh, ad adapt to do, uh, doing cinema lens, being a cinema lens with the 3D printed gear ring, but optically first rate. So come check them out at Red Finch Rental. We'll see you later.